Thorn, the weapon that completely dominated PvP in the end of year one. The weapon that caused so much burn damage that it would kill Guardian after Guardian in the Crucible. And Thorn, the weapon that would carry you through trials with ease. Hey guys, Digirex here, and today we are talking about Thorn. You all know it, you all either love it or hate it. The weapon that dominated the end of year one is going to be back in year three with Rise of Iron, and we are going to be talking about that today. So if you guys looked at the thumbnail, you saw what year three Thorn is speculated to look like. And honestly, I think that looks sick with the red instead of the green, and you have the little cracks in it and stuff like that. And I'll put that screen sh screenshot up on screen right here. So now this is from a source on social media. People are this picture's been going around. People are talking about it, but this isn't the official picture for Year Three Thorn. But in this video, we're going to be talking about what we think Year Three Thorn's perks are going to be because they always switch them up, or they normally switch them up. Like Dragon's Breath, it doesn't drop the Solar Nade anymore. It drops a Napalm Canister in Year Two, and then other things like the Cerus Regime instead of Focus Fire, they have the option to put on Spinning Up, so you can use that also. We are going to be talking about what we think Thorn is going to have in year three. And I have a few ideas. So, my first idea is that they might not even change it at all. They might just keep it the same. Uh, they nerfed the damage when the 2.0 update came out. It only does like three, two or three. It stacks now, but it only does like two or three damage, burn damage over time. Or they could just keep it exactly like that. It's still really good in the Crucible right now. It melts guardians still it's just a hand cannon that has super good stats overall and then it stops people from regening their health because they're getting constant burn damage so my third first thought is that thorn might just have a perk where it doesn't do burn damage but it stops guardians from regenerating their health now i don't think they would do this because this kind of destroys part of the thorn and everything and it kind of already has that but this would nerf the thorn a little more because right now it is still really good if you guys Pick it up, go into the Crucible with it. It is amazing. Um, yeah, it's really good as you've seen in this gameplay. Went on a few streaks with it here. It's just really good hand cannon. It has decent range, decent stability. You have a lot of customization options down the middle tree. It's got final round, so that final round really destroys people. And it's just a good hand cannon stats. And then the damage over time keeps people from regening their health, even though it's not doing too much damage. I still got a few burn kills. So they might just make it that it doesn't do any burn damage, but it stops them from regening their health. Now my second thought was that it might be a little bit of reverse, and this perk would be really good, but you hit enemies and it does like one burn damage, so they nerf the burn damage even more, and if you shoot teammates, it gives them a little bit of health, like one health over time. So now this would be really weird, or they could do it where that's two separate perks, you can choose between the burn damage and the healing teammates. I don't know how this would work, but that would be kind of cool, you know, just to switch it up a little bit. They'd have to balance it and stuff. I'm just spitting out ideas here of what I think your three thorn could be like, and they could just keep it exactly the same. I don't know. These are just my speculations on the topic. That'd be really cool, though, if they did something like that, or I don't really know what they could do. It would be really cool to see some other stuff come into play, like maybe this weapon, like, has one lucky like thorn in the mag and the thorn sticks to a wall and whenever enemies pass they do get burn damage but it's like the burn damage from year one because if you shoot the thorn at a wall thorns do stick into the wall it's not like regular bullets it's like actual thorns so it is pretty weird but you could do this like one lucky bullet in the mag shoots into the wall and then when enemies pass it it activates sort of like a hunter's trip mine from gunslinger subclass and it gives them that seven burn damage and maybe last a little bit longer since it is that one lucky bullet but guys those are kind of my three ideas for thorn i don't know which one would be the best they're all kind of weird tell me guys tell me what you guys think are going to be year three thorns if they're even going to change the perks at all and if you guys think that screenshot looks cool from earlier hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you like the division destiny call of duty overwatch or pokemon go and big titties of course big titties I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Digirex. Peace.